firestorm surrounding the IRS. Last night, we asked if what they did was fair. Tonight, the FBI is asking, was it criminal? We're talking about the way they singled out conservative groups. And ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, is tracking the fast-moving developments tonight. It's no longer just a political scandal. The IRS's alleged targeting of conservative groups is now the subject of a criminal investigation. The FBI is coordinating with the Justice Department to see if any laws were broken in connection um, with those matters related to the IRS. A just released investigative report by the IRS's own watchdog says that more than half of the conservative groups targeted were asked for irrelevant and unnecessary information all part of an effort to single out Tea Party organizations that were applying for tax-exempt status for extra scrutiny. When the IRS first acknowledged and apologized for inappropriately targeting Tea Party groups, it said the actions were limited to officials in this Cincinnati field office. But ABC News has obtained documents showing other IRS offices around the country were involved, including two in California and the headquarters in Washington, D.C. The White House insists it had no idea any of this was going on. Can you say categorically that nobody at the White House and nobody on the president's political team had any knowledge or uh, was involved in any way in the targeting of Tea Party groups by the IRS? Yes. Absolutely not. I mean, we learn about everything we know about this from what we see in your reports. Conservatives aren't buying. Obama's objective is to eliminate all opposition. If this just isn't a, a, a gathering of an enemies list, I, I don't know what is. All of this comes as a White House that takes pride in being scandal free has been hammered by a series of controversies. President Obama is fending off incoming fire. On what went wrong flights. in Benghazi First, and whether this the secretary seems like a genuine potential scandal. third scandal. So, the latest revelations the Justice Department obtained two months of telephone records of reporters at the Associated Press as part of a leak investigation. According to the IRS watchdog, none of the IRS officials who were doing the targeting say they were ordered to do it by anybody outside of the IRS. But Diane, now those who are responsible could face criminal charges. The most serious, serious of those is allegedly conspiring to violate the constitutional rights of their political opponents. The maximum charge there, 10 years in prison.